Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS. This video is a continuation of my NFPA 20 series. Today I will show you how to calculate water tank capacity based on the system demand. So let's get started. So let us try to calculate the water tank capacity as per NFPA 20 requirements. So for example, our system demand is 1000 GPM for 30 minute duration. Then the capacity would be 30,000 gallons. But based on these 30,000 gallons, we cannot decide the water tank size because there are few things to be considered before we select the water tank size I will explain you in detail so here you can see the dotted lines below and above this will be 30,000 we need to add few more volume of water in order to select the water tank size now since on top of the water level there would be like fill sensors and overflow connection we need to consider at least one feet variation between the fill sensors and overflow connection so that has to be added as well to this 30,000 gallons of water so now the volume of water per one feet would be formula will be pi r square h so pi multiply by since r is 10 feet since we assumed 20 feet would be the diameter so 10 square multiply by 1 feet so for this we need to multiply with 7.5 Four eight in order to get the volume of water in gallons. So the volume of the water will be two three four nine gallons. So this has to be added as well to this thirty thousand gallons of water. Apart from that, you can see from this figure we have drawn a center line. And below the center line, we have assumed 1.68 feet to the bottom of the tank. So, further assuming that minimum water level should be approximately equal to the center line of the suction pipe to prevent fire pump cavitation. So, we need to add this volume of water as well to these two volumes then only we can decide the water tank size so now again by using the same formula volume is equal to pi r square h so pi multiply by 10 square multiply by 1.68 feet this time it would be 1.68 feet this might vary based on the suction line center okay and uh, now the value will be 3948 gallons so i hope you understand now we need to add 30000 gallons plus 2349 gallons plus 3948 gallons then only we are going to get the actual water tank size required based on NFPA 20 requirements. So now the total needed capacity would be A, B and C. So when we add this, the total capacity would be 36,297 gallons. So in the market, I don't think 36,297 gallon water tank would be available. So we will consider 
40,000 gallon water tank based on the standard tank size. So we need to keep three most important points related to the water tanks as per NFPA 20. So water tanks shall be installed in accordance with NFPA 22 standards and the water tanks shall be permitted to be divided into two compartments such that the compartments function as individual tanks. So the third point would be each individual tank or compartment directly supplying a vertical fire protection zone shall be sized so that at least 50% of the fire protection demand is stored with any one compartment or tank out of service. I will explain you a little bit. So for example, you have the requirement of 40,000 gallon capacity tank. So this tank can be divided into two compartments or, or we can make it as two individual tanks and at least the one tank shall have 50% of our demand. So if our demand is uh, 40,000 then 50% of this 40,000 would be 20,000. So if it is 20,000 the other tank would also be 20,000 or other compartment is also be 20,000 gallons. So whenever we are doing any maintenance one tank can be cleaned but the other tank shall have minimum 50 percent of our fire protection demand i'll show you two examples of water tanks which are divided into two compartments as you can see on your screen this left hand side water tank capacity is about 681 cubic meter which will come around 180,000 gallons. So the size of the water tank required will be 340.5 cubic meter per one compartment minimum. On right hand side the tank capacity is also same 340.5 per one compartment so 50 percent should be minimum per each tank it can be more but it cannot be less so i hope uh, you understand the concept of the water tank if you want more details about the water tanks you need to go through nfpa 22 and if you have any queries you can ask me through the comment section in this particular video thank you for watching if you like my video please comment and subscribe to irfan cfps thank you so much bye